All right, the march to October continues. We are now 51 and 18. We're trying to pin a loss on the Yankees. All right, we've got four runs off of Garrett Cole so far in this game. All right, so we got to try to start a rally here. Bottom of the seventh, we're down five to four. Not sure how our starter did in this. But four runs given up the first Welcome couple of innings. Yeah, that's Shabby not good. Alongside Chris Singleton. Thanks for joining us. We're in the seventh with nobody out. Big matchup here with the top two teams in the division going head to head. Pressure on both teams in a game. Well, like Garrett Wolf's thrown 100 pitches Absolutely. already. If you're behind. Wow. You, know you have a chance to make up some ground. You really want to get that double. Bichette in the box now takes a cold strike. Strike two. But for the team in front, they're feeling the heat a little bit, and they know their lead shrinks with the loss, so they've got to be sharp every pitch. And down oh. strikes. And one out now. Oh, checks. Got me a check swing. Feel the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you've got the leadoff hitter, it's so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Pitch. Up the middle. And Guerrero is set down. Rymel Tapia up to him. The line of the pitch. Ah! Popped up. Has a beat on it. Makes the great. Right. He fit it. Down by one. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Still down the road. All right, Mesa. Right, oh, this is only the seventh game that Mesa's pitching out of the pen this year. All right. Quick outs and keep this team within striking distance. Well, right, we used him against the Yankees in a situation against them before, and that didn't exactly go so well. All right. Well, he gets the first out there. Oh, now he's going to jump out. Two for three, and both of those are the home runs. Right there. 48,718. Attendance. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. Next one just misses. And the count is even 2-2. We're already over halfway to 100 wins on the season, by the way. Didn't let it affect his focus. He came back with another good pitch to get a sweep. A Duhar at the plate down. Puts him one down below the zone. And a one-two. That one ripped. Oh. Nice! by Tapia. So here comes the big left thing of Oh, and that was a perfect, perfect. And he'll work on holding this lead. Back now in Toronto, bottom of the eighth. Here's the left field, Lourdes Goriel Jr. All right. Uh... All right, looks like Hernandez and we are both similar, but uh, Guriel's got the better average, though. Yeah, we'll stick with him. Oh my god, face rolled this Chapman again here, though. Ugh. That is not going to be fun. There we go! Good hit! Good hit! Oh, big swing of the bat right there. Got the top of the ball over, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield. All right, uh, we'll send Hernandez in to run. 
That's been now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Substitution now at first base. Coming in as a pitch runner, Teoscar Hernandez. They take Chapman. Matt Chapman is still this chat. Our Chapman is three for three in this game. Let's make it four for four. Then we can foul that off. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Chapman now one run game. See the okay. Ninety seven with that fastball. Good take. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. With a single base runner, because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the Ah, I should have took that. Then it would have been a full count. And one ball. Got me the high one. Now it's the DH, Alejandro Kirk, for the fourth time tonight. Definitely wants to stay out of a double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be in any. And drops! All right. Plays it on a hop. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Just a blue hit behind third right there. That's a really tough play for a third baseman. All right. All right, well, I why isn't it letting me run? I'm trying to run from Kirk. It won't let me. Okay, thank you. Uh, all right. Uh, let's put Palacios in as a pinch runner here for Alejandro Kirk. Josh Palacios. So the tying run at second. Rips that one center field. Base it. All right, Hernandez on his way to the plate, and we've got a tie game. And we are tied. All tied again, five five. These guys today are so great at the end of the loss that they're seeing high speeds day after day and the best job ever. So wow, we scored off of the Chapman. And here Left field. That one. That's at least a sack fly. Oh, even better! Three run homer for Jansen. Hits one out. His 13th home run of the season, and just like that, they're out front. It's 8 5. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. You know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned it. Welcome to the game, Clay Holmes. Yeah, I should have just said that. Still only one out here in the inning. All right, well. All right, Romano. You're so afraid to come in here in the ninth inning. Rip to short. Connor Falefa collects it. Throw on to Rizzo. That takes care of Springer. Here's another look at that gas city. The throw needed to be strong to beat the runner, and it was. Yeah, that play was close, and I think... And Bichette's going to pop it up. But we did take the lead. So now we go to the ninth inning. It's 8-5. to five. That is the inning. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run homer. Last chance coming up here for the Yankees. Jansen coming up clutch. Teoscar Hernandez. He's out left field getting loose there as he enters the game on defense. All right, let's see if Romano can get save number 18 out of 20 chances here. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. The pitch. The Yankees look at the rally. Oh, not a good start, Romano. Oh, come on. Are we going to seriously walk the first batter that we face? That's not. Alright, full count. 
miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Oh, they're behind three. Oh, he came back to strike him out. Ben Workman stepping in now for the Yankees. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting, in today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the play. Romano back to work. All right, two out. The 0 1. And a swing and miss. Game over. We went 8 to 5 against the Yankees. And he pinned a loss on a roll of his chest. Do you think games against division rivals mean more to the players than other games? I mean, I always got a little more charged up for those games in the division. And sure, you want to win every game all season long, but every player knows that a division title, that can really set you up for success in the postseason. So these divisional rivalry games can definitely feel more impactful for sure, both in the standings and on team morale. Mm -hmm. All right, so you succeeded in that key moment. Now, whether we do the next one in this episode, that's going to depend on what the situation is. If it's a player lock, then we can definitely do it. But we'll see. All right, well, we won that series against the Yankees anyhow. All right, you know what? Sure, why not? Um... All right, out of these three, the worst ranked is Palacios. All right. Uh, all right. Player lock for Gabriel Moreno. All right, we can definitely do this. Alvinoa 10 and 1 on the year for us going into this game. He's up against Dylan Cease. He's given up 106 hits and 86 two for the league's pitch. My goodness. But he is 7 and 4, so he's got a, that going for him. But yeah, Manoa having a monster season here. South side of Chicago. Here's the catcher. Gabriel and we are down two to nothing in the third inning. Get that first hit at the big league level. In there, and it's 0 and 1. These two offenses could put up runs in a hurry. Out to short. Anderson over to pick it up. Rolls across the diamond. And they get the out. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. Two on, one out. All right, over one, but now we got get two on and one out. And a pitch. Ah, I should have let that go. go should have let that go. Let's go, kid. One time right here. Lifted in the air, right center field. Robert pulls it down, and there's two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10. Oh, Maybe we're down 9 nothing now. Next up for the Blue Jays. Zeke's back to work. In the air to left center. Oh, yeah, that dropped. All right. The RBI base hit. It's, it's not really going to matter, though, now. One out left for the Blue Jays. Gabriel Moreno, the next to hit. All right, we're down 10 to 2. Yeah, we are not going to win this game, but. The pitch. 
And a swing and a line drive at a right field. All right, one for four. All right, well, not terrible. But no, his second loss of the season, and ooh, yeah. All right, well, he went almost six innings, and he gave up six runs. Think of so many guys that would kill for just that opportunity to stand at the dish. And well, like that's baseball. You're not going to win them all. To the highest level of competition right out of the gates, man, that could be a big boost for a team looking to make some noise. What do we have for our next key moment? So we failed to sweep the White Sox. We do win against the Brewers, and we do not sweep the Brewers. We sweep the Red Sox. Oh, actually, I think this is going to be our next key moment here. A chance to sweep a divisional rival through the home fans. All right. one nothing in the bottom of the eighth. And that is going to... All right. Well, we will leave that for next time. But first, let's take a look at these standings here. We've got an 11 and a half game lead over the New York Yankees. 507 runs scored? Holy Jesus. You gotta figure out the average for uh, for that, but 507 runs scored in 80 games. Wow. I can guarantee we probably have the best record in the majors. Uh, let's see. Alright, Giants are 54 and 26. Yeah, I've got, got the best record in the majors by a solid margin there. All right, so, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of the March to October, and uh, we'll see you next time.